Hello, I'm C-3PO, and this is my counterpart, R2-D2. I'll be translating today as R2 shows us how to build... What was it again, R2? Beep, 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 beep. A thermal detonator? Oh my! Materials for this prop include... Cardboard, a 3-inch diameter styrofoam ball, a compass, super glue, aluminium tape, duct tape, three ink pens with caps, gold metallic acrylic paint, a one inch brass binder clip, adhesive foam squares, a red pen, a ruler, scissors, an X-Acto blade, and a pen or pencil. First, use a compass to draw two circles, each with a four and a half inch diameter. Use a ruler to mark the circles with the following pattern. Cut out the circles. Use the compass to draw a second circle a quarter inch inside the perimeter and a third circle a half inch from the center point. Now your template should look like this. Starting with a half inch section, next to the one and a half inch section, highlight every other section of the larger inside circle. Cover the back of the piece with aluminium tape. Flip the piece over and cut away the excess tape. Cut all of the radius lines to the perimeter of the small inside circle. For all of the sections you highlighted earlier, cut off the last quarter inch. Now your pattern should look like this. Wrap the center of the styrofoam ball in aluminium tape. Place the cardboard piece over the styrofoam and fold it into a sphere shape, aluminium side up. To make this work, you'll need to cut gaps into the cardboard piece because you're transforming a two-dimensional piece into a three-dimensional one. I recommend cutting the gaps out in one-inch sections, but you'll need to make your own best judgment when building. If you don't want the corrugated cardboard edges to show, you'll need to apply aluminium tape to every exposed edge on the cardboard piece. This will take some time. Apply superglue to the edge of a one and a half inch section of the cardboard piece. Line it up on the styrofoam so that the center of the cardboard is at the pole of the styrofoam ball where the styrofoam still shows. Glue the piece down and hold for a couple of minutes. Glue the opposite side down next and hold it for a couple of minutes. Work your way around the entire ball, gluing the edges down and holding them in place as the glue hardens. Cut more gaps as necessary to make the sections lie as flat as possible. For the second circle, highlight the opposite sections from the first circle. Wrap the back in aluminium tape and cut out the design. Super glue the edges of this circle and align it on the opposite pole of the styrofoam ball. The one and a half inch section of this piece should match up to the one and a half inch section on the opposite side as shown. Again, you will need to cut gaps to make the pieces fit on the sphere. Take the caps off the three ink pens and cut off the pocket clips. Use the pen to poke three holes side by side into the gap between the two one and a half inch sections. Place the pen caps in the holes. Use gold metallic acrylic paint to cover the cardboard shell. The prop in the movie has a weathered look to it, so you want some of the aluminium to show through. On some spare cardboard, draw an oblong rectangle, about two and a quarter inches long and three quarters of an inch wide. Cut out the shape and make two more. Use an X-Acto blade to cut a slit down the center of one piece. Remember to exercise caution when using an X-Acto blade. 
cut off the edges of the second piece. On the top of the third piece, place these two edge pieces on either end. Bend the brass clip in half and slip it through the piece with the slit. Place it on top of the other two pieces. Be quiet R2, I was getting there. Use duct tape to sandwich the pieces together all around the edges, making sure the brass piece can still move along its track. Cover the piece in aluminium tape, making sure the brass piece can still move along its track. Use adhesive foam squares to attach the piece to the detonator, aligned so that it runs down the side away from the three pen caps. Cover the edges in aluminium tape to hide the adhesive foam. At the top of the one and a half inch section above the three pen caps, draw a circle and cut it out with the X-Acto blade. Cut a similar side circle out of a foam square and place it in the cutout area. Color the circle using a red pen. Use the gold acrylic paint to coat the trigger piece. And there's your finished thermal detonator. We had better hurry R2. Master Luke is sending us off to Jabba's palace on Tatooine. What were you going to do with that thermal detonator anyway? Beep 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 beep. My, my own business? Why you impertinent little short circuit?